Yo guys, what is going on? Blossoms back and welcome back to the episode of Top Drives. Today I'll be opening some carbon fibers, giving some carbon fibers away, showing off my amazing yet very, very powerful, <laughs> who am I kidding, uh, European New Wave Garage, and uh, we're going to get into some gameplay stuff as well. As always, I promise you I will open packs alongside the gameplay day. I'll open a little bit of Black Friday. I'm not going to make a big Black Friday video this year. I do apologize for that. I would have loved to do a big Black Friday video this year, as I've always done in years in the past. But I kind of spent like all my gold during the Venom F5 final. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that I put a lot on the line for that Venom F5. So, uh, you know what? Let's start with Venom F5, okay? Let's start with Venom, Venom F5. I'm still getting used to the RQ changes now that the uh, two best cars, along with my T16, are the Peugeot 208 and the Audi S1 EKS. I still don't think that these cars are as useful as my ever so trusty Escudo. So, uh, they're good cars, though. Uh, the Peugeot 208. 1006 races um the eks only 293 which isn't a lot i can tell you that i'm not as good to probably more than 2000 has to be right has to be oh, i was close on that uh 96 percent win ratio 2097 days and it's the younger car out of all of those i just feel like the escudo is the superior car oh actually not anymore really because now you have just a bunch of four-wheel drive off-road tire cars uh, or off-road tire cars that can hit 100 handling now so yeah 99 just isn't anything anymore is it there's, there's always gonna be a bigger fish right in the words of the great qui-gon jinn um but yeah the hennessy venom f5 is coming along quite nicely uh, I got an upgrade in engine and an upgrade in weight, so it's currently sitting at 663, and I'll be putting in more upgrades as we move along. But yeah, the Hennessy Venom F5 looking pretty good. Some of the things that I do want to work on that I do want to show you right here, like I said, after I won the Venom F5, I want to take a break. Uh, I'm, I want to retire from, you know, simping, literally simping for a Tri-Series competition. I think, you know, where my garage is at 222 legendaries, I know it doesn't say that, but like, at 222 legendaries, I I feel like, you know, I can slow down a little bit. I don't want to just sim for every single prize card that comes out. Like, the amount of crappy epics that I've never wanted to upgrade that I had to upgrade for a Tri-Series. Some of the legendaries that I had to max or just upgrade for a Tri-Series. Like, I just want to slow down and kind of focus on things that I want to upgrade, you know, for a while. And one of the things that I really wanted to upgrade was this Holden HSV. As you know, I am a saloon collector. It's medium ground clearance. It handles very well. And it is the best car from learning this event away. So, might as well uh, max that, baby be out some other projects that I want to work on after the Holden uh, obviously I'll be doing some one mil openings I mean the surprising thing is that I've not done a single one million opening uh, since the drop of the update but uh, I don't want to sound like a broken record but you know I'm not that interested um, another one is the Hellcat Red Eye I mean literally I've, I've had it for almost a hundred days and guys this is very not of me to not even upgrade my SRT Hellcat Red Eye so yes I would like to max it out it's just that I've been prioritizing tri-series 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 other stuff would be the Durango SRT Hellcat. Obviously, I want to go that because I am a Dodge collector. And of course, my ever so trusty GT2, not GT2, but GT2, um, which I want to name and I want to max. So far, it only has one upgrade into it. And I've already made my promise that this is going to be the legendary that I want to max out the most. Other projects that I want to go on, I mean, like, I want to max out all my Hennessy's. At this point, I'm on track on maxing out every single Hennessy that I got. I mean, the Hennessy Venom GT just needs six more epics. The Hennessy Venom GT Spider only needs six more epics. And the, the Hennessy Venom F5 needs nine more epics. So, like, Literally, how many epics do I need? 9 plus 12 is like 21. As long as I use 21 more epics, I will have every single Hennessy in the game fully upgraded. So, like, these are all the things that I kind of want to focus on, right? Uh, so, because of that, I want to slow down in the Tri-Series, so I don't need to go max, you know, this and that and all the crap, and actually focus on things that I want to focus, because like, I have a lot of things that I just really want to max out. What are some... Sorry, a bit of a hiccup there. What are some other epics that I want to max out, actually? I mean, besides the Hellcat. Um, you know, some other stuff that I feel like a passion projects. Like, I could finish the Metro. You know, I've had this car for literally, like, how many years? 1,334 days. You can do the math on how many years that is. And, like, I want to finish it off. But I've just never had the time. Because, like, well, A, I never really needed to finish it off. But also B, because, like, I was always prior to, uh, prioritizing everything else. There are a lot of epics in here, which I kind of want to focus on. Ooh, I'll tell you what's another one I want. The Exige. Um, 
Um, oh, yeah, yeah, the Exige RGT 99 handling roll drive off road tires. Like, who wouldn't want to upgrade that? So, that's another one that I want to focus on. But anyway, guys, like I said in today's video, I'll be giving away some carbon fibers. So, stay tuned because I'll be telling you how to win them and where to win them. But before I give away some carbon fibers, I do want to open some carbon fibers. And the one that I want to open the most is this one, actually, the 2999 offer. Uh, 50 slots two carbon fibers 50 slots i am a sucker for slots i am a sucker for slots so we are going for slots i don't have a lot of gold right i don't have a lot of gold so i'm not gonna go for like you know the ever so elegant 14 carbon fibers blah 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 it's just that you know the longer i play the game the, the less enticing these big packs are they're good deals but like ultimately right do I need them? Um, I'm not really looking for any legendary under the sun. For the most part, I'm looking for specific legendaries now, which I can open from specific packs. This is new. I've never unpacked a Lancer Sport back rally art before. Um, you know, and APGP is like a six month old, no, actually not really, five month old update. So, and I'm still getting new things. So yeah, I do like that update. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're starting off with an RQ50, so that's not saying much. Uh, yeah, uh, I I'm going to say that it's just not going to be anything, but we won the 50 slots, right? Oh, whoa! That's actually not bad. 2016, that's a good car, especially for the Peugeot event going on right now. That's actually not bad, you know. That was really, really good. Another thing that I want to talk about, like I said, we're going to go into events right now, right? Low tide. See, I got a bit of an issue here, lads. Um, you need two low ground claims, Europe, your new wave. I have one. I have one car. I can't even join. I can't remember the last time I couldn't even join an event. So I'll need to open a European New Wave Carbon Fiber. Open one of those special specials and see if we can get a low ground clearance car. But while we're at it, I'll show you the collection. Fear me, everybody. Fear me. This is my collection. I got like 12 cars and they're all fully upgraded. Um, and honestly, none of them are worth mentioning about. Like the, the fact that I have 12 cars... Um, all of them are fully upgraded. These three are all on their final fuses. And none of them... Well, actually, the best handling one is an uncommon. It's, a, it's an 85 uncommon. Uh, I mean, a ha 85 handling RQ23 uncommon. And nothing else that I have surpasses that. Which is sad. It is so sad. The stats of the cars in this update are just so terrible. And it's like... I know stats aren't everything. And like I said so many times, I'm just not interested in these cars, bro. Uh, but I would like to compete in this event. So I will open another carbon fiber and we'll open one from the new update. So let's go with this one over here. We're also getting a further 10 slots and a cheeky little 20,000. So hopefully we can get a low ground clearance car. That's all I need. I just want to enter the event. I don't even need to do well. I just want to enter the event. Uh, I like these special packs though, because they do guarantee you everything from the new update. Um, Mondeo 2.2. That's not going to get as much, is it? Can you imagine if we get a Zenvo just right here? Just, you know, the, the one update I don't care about. We get like a, you know, amazing car, right? I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, we did get an epic, and to be fair, it's not like there are a lot of good epics to get anyway. Um, the, the majority of this update is just lower tier stuff, uh, lower tier epics. So let me go into, well, I, this is the fuse pile. Um, I want to look at all European New Wave cars real quick. So collections and tags, European New Wave, all cars. I want to say that that epic we got was actually a mid-range epic, considering that there are not a lot of epics here that are above RQ70. Um, the Caterham would have been nice. Yeah, it's actually mid. It's actually mid. It's literally better than what? One, two, three, four. That's a surprise. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight? Yeah, it's better than eight. I mean, it's not that bad. 75 handling, but I mean... Yeah, I'm just not gonna ever use it. Let's be honest. I still didn't get a low ground. I don't think I got a single low ground clearance car. I still cannot join the event, right? Um, let's just, I, do I need to open one more, sir? Please. Um, no, that's that's APGP. That's the wrong update. Sorry, lads. Uh, European New Wave. Uh, so yeah, that that's uh, that's a medium. Yeah, uh, that's that's also medium. Okay. That's, has, that has to be medium, that's low. Yeah, that's medium. Uh, this is maybe low. No, no, it's it's medium. It's medium. And of course, with the X60, which is high. So I still cannot join the goddamn event. <laughs> oh my god. We'll open one more. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, how many, how many gold? How much gold does he have left? Well, I got a little bit. I mean, it's not enough for like a big opening. But I just want a low ground clearance car. Just Citroen after Citroen. After Citroen, quite literally, okay. Um, still, it's 49. That's not saying much. This is a carbon fiber that we're opening at, opening at the end of the day. Come on, man, low. There are not a lot of ultras that are low, I think. Unless we get one of those, like, oh, a Caterham would be nice. I'm just not going to be able to join the event. <laughs> 
I'm just, I'm actually just not going to be able to join the event. Uh, the way that this is going, like, oh, I can actually open more of the 50 slots thing. That's actually a pretty decent deal. Um, oh, and I, I didn't even see that there was a 100 slot offer. <laughs> I might open that for another video. I might open this one for another video. I mean, it's 60% off. It's it's literally, yeah, you know what? The next the next one mil opening we'll do, we'll, we'll crack open this pack. It's six ultra rares and, and 100 slots. I will take slots any day of the week, dude. I could also open this one. Um, but yeah, I'll go for the 60% off. That actually looks really good. And they're four in stock. Um, I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't see that earlier. I just went for the 50 right away. Um, but yeah, um, so I can't even join the goddamn event right now. <laughs> we'll have the new cars in. We've got the Peugeot 208, which is a fantastic addition. We've got the Volvo X60 and the Volvo V60. Um, but yeah, we still literally cannot join low tide. Like, what, what do you want me to do, buddy? What do you want me to do? I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> literally can't join. Like, what do you want me to do? Uh, <sighs> All right, well, anyway, let's continue. Like I said, it's going to be gameplay day. And then, like, somewhere throughout the video, I will mention the uh, giveaway uh, announcement as well. I want to keep you guys on your toes. Oh, we still have the, the hand that won me the Venom. The, the venom. That, that shows the last time I'm actually recording this. Um, also, one thing that I want to show you is my hand for this event. So, what am I running again? I'm running uh, a Maxi, and I'm running an Avalanche, uh, and I'm running the uh, ever-so-useless Jaguar F-Type for the first time in forever. For the first time since... Since I've won this prize car, it's actually useful and in an event, which is not included with clubs. Like in a multiplayer event, this is the first time I've ever needed to use my Jaguar F-Type and for it actually being useful. There have been events where this car was a car that you could use, but it was never useful. And in this event, it's actually like bringing value, which is incredible. Um, so yes, guys, after 1,233 days, that's like four years, the F-Type is finally useful for something. And people get mad at me when I fuse away prize cars. If you told anybody that won this prize car four years ago that the first time it would actually make it, this guy maxed it, oh my, oh, that's not max, okay, that's one star. Um, I thought it was that bad. Um, but like, if you told me four years ago that the first time I would have used, freaking used this Jaguar prize car was like, freaking four years into the future i'd be laughing my ass off bro like literally it is just oh man it's sad it is so so sad all right i saw i saw a weakness in this hand because he has gotten a fiji on g-force um i don't know if i'll win the zero to 100 i don't even i can't even be bothered putting that at one star here's the thing the reason why i'm keeping my f-type at zero stars and stock is because i want to see if i could theoretically survive in this event without an f-type i'm already testing the waters of kind of like how would i survive without one because I want to fuse it away. <laughs> I mean, a better way of doing it is I would be not running, I, I, I shouldn't be running the F-Type at all, right? Then that would be really like, you know, simulating life without the F-Type if I could survive. Um, but like I said, you know, this time it's actually being useful in something. It doesn't matter if this loses as well, because like, um, yeah, it might actually, okay, it wins, cool, cool, cool. Um, because yeah, even if we lost that, we're gonna win the race. So yeah, two stars and we take those. Okay, anyway, I know that I've been keeping you guys on the edge of your seats. I do apologize for doing that but i just didn't want to do it at the start i didn't want to do it to the end because some people just skip right to the end um so giveaway announcements if you have made it to this part into the video i'm giving away 10 carbon fibers it's been a long time since i've done a giveaway uh so i think i remember what to say no i know what i, I know what i have to say this is actually important i gotta thank like hutch thank you so much like seriously it's been a while since i've done a um giveaway and hutch has allowed me to give away 10 carbon fibers to you guys watching right now that doesn't mean they're 10 winners though no they're only five winners but each of the winners are winning two carbon fibers i'll be announcing the winner next month in december which is only a week away um so let me tell you how to win so one more time remember i'm giving away 10 carbon fibers there'll be five winners of two carbon fibers all right thank you so much for letting me give this away and as always i will be dictating who wins i will be dictating it randomly though but i'll be doing it my way hutch has no say in who wins i'm gonna do it but obviously i'll do it randomly as well so what are the ways to win it as always youtube comment down below what is your favorite car your dream car of all time if you want to add in a why that would be interesting i would like to know why your dream car is your dream car we're talking number one okay i love the 1970 charger i love the 560 sec but my favorite car of all time is the 1969 charger and here's why so yeah tell me down in the comments below what is your favorite car that is one way that you can enter via this 
exact video. Second, of course, check my Instagram, all right? Link in the description below to my Instagram. I'll be posting a giveaway post. All you need to do is like the post. That's it, you don't even need to comment anything. Um, if, if you would like, you can share it on your story, but that isn't a requirement, but that would be nice if you would like to do so for some promotion work from my end. Uh, but yes, all you need to do is like the post on Instagram. Third way to do it would be on my Discord server. There are some extra ways to enter there if you want to as well, uh, and you can just react under the giveaway post. If you would like to join my Discord server, the link will be in the description below as well. So those are your three ways of winning those carbon fibers. Either comment them down on YouTube, YouTube, uh, like the post on Instagram, or react on my Discord server, and I will be selecting the winners next month. So good luck to all of you guys competing. Like I said, two carbon fibers for five winners, 10 carbon fibers in total. Thank you to Hutch for making that happen. Anyway, moving back to reality. Well, actually not reality. That was reality. The giveaway actually is real. But moving back to top drives, uh, let's, get, let's get back to the Jaguar actually being useful in something. I cannot believe it. Um, I still do not think that the Jaguar is actually worth the 20K investment. Um, here's the thing, right? I actually would have copied this dude's hand. Um, um, if I didn't, if I had two Avalanche Max, I have one Avalanche Max, I don't have two. So if I had two of the Max, I would have done that and then just not use the F-Type because like I said, I genuinely, is that Max? Just the handling maybe? Because I genuinely want to simulate what life would be like without an F-Type because I want to fuse it away. And the best way to to understand that is to put myself in these kind of situations, right? Um, to see what life would be like if I could survive, then honestly, it'd be useless. I, I would have proven a point that, you know, the F-type is useless and I could fuse it away. So yeah, I mean, I'm using it here again, so it's really counterintuitive, but I just wish I had two of the Holden HSV Avalanche's max. Uh, then I would actually put this uh, into motion. Oh, we did lo we did lose anyway. So if, I if I'm losing with the Jaguar anyway, then what's the damn point? Uh, let's go with another one if we can go for this. Uh, test Bowl. The F pace is actually pretty good in this uh, event, especially on that Test Bowl. Um, again, it's the same guy, but I think we should be able to win this one. You know what? I'm starting to think that maybe I should be running my uh, Drag Spec 306. I have a Drag Spec 306, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it brings value to the table, I'll be honest. I'm gonna do a little switcheroony, put that 69 against 64, see if that changes. I still can't believe we got that 64 Peugeot. That was a really, really good pull. Uh, one of the best epics back in the day. Uh, oh, we lost. Okay, well, we're just losing a bunch of events now. Anyway, this event isn't for me. I was going for the ceramic packs anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I might as well just stop it before the bleeding gets uh, uh, too bad. I still can't join low tide. I don't have anything, bro. Okay, like literally, what are the odds of getting something low though? Actually, like, is there a pack out there where I can only get European New Wave cars that are that that's low? Um, where is it? Car attributes, right? Low. They're 55. Uh, oh, and then a lot of them are prize cars as well. Out of 55, 24 of them are prize cars. So I would need to get a Zenvo or a Radical or just a very small amount of Ultra Airs. Literally, only five that you can unpack. I tell you what though, like if there actually is a low ground clearance one, I might go open it because that is very, very niche. Um, and it actually looks like a pretty damn good pack, but it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. The, the nightmare fuel is still out there. Um, you got the new, yeah, you got the European new wave. Yeah, no, no, it, it does not exist. That would have been nice. That actually would have been nice, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, not meant to be. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Daily event, first place. Should I start with daily event? Nah, I think we're good, right? But that should be it for today. Some packs are open. Some packs will be given away. All the best to everyone in the giveaway. You know what to do. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. 
sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac.